Welcome to another tutorial of ProfLearn YouTube channel. In this particular video, we're going to look at um, IGCSE physics revision. What mattered or what was important, what mattered in June 2024, and exactly what you were supposed to have studied. At the opening of uh, this particular video, we are going to mention that longitudinal waves are type of waves where particles vibrate parallel to the direction of the wave. Example of longitudinal wave is sound wave. If you are new to Profland YouTube channel, consider subscribing so that end time I'm going to upload another tutorial to be notified. Take this chance to leave a comment down below and also you can give this particular video a like. What matters most and what mattered most what was important most in the paper of may june is you understanding that the moon orbits around the earth so you are expected to draw the orbit of the moon around the earth and you need to understand that the the, the, the orbit of the moon is circular and the orbit of uh, a planet is elliptical so the orbit of a comet is more elliptical than the orbit of a planet. For a comet and a the planet, they orbit the sun or the star, but the orbit of a comet is more elliptical. So what mattered most in this exam is for you to understand the moon orbit the earth, and then its orbit is circular, and that is exactly what I have displayed here. Is the moon orbiting around the earth? But I have given this information so that in the next exam, if they ask you to draw the orbit of the comet, you understand what you are supposed to do. When you are asked to give the difference between the orbit of a comet and the orbit of a planet, orbit of the comet is more elongated, more elliptical. Uh, orbit of a planet is just elliptical. If you are asked to give a difference between orbit of a comet and the moon, will say the comet orbit the sun while the moon orbit the planet. I think that's enough for you to understand. You need also to understand that the type of force that causes the moon to orbit Earth is called the gravitational force. And another object that orbit the Earth, object that uh, orbit the Earth uh, is a satellite. Satellite can be man made but the natural satellite that orbit the earth so in this case uh, as a student you are supposed to pay satellite all space stations all space stations uh, we were supposed to give difference between orbit of planet and orbit of the comet orbit of the comet is more elliptical is quite elongated and stretched but than the orbit of a planet what also mattered most in uh, May June exam 2024 is you understanding that the atomic number is the number of protons. Mass number is equals to atomic number is equals to the number of protons. Mass number equals to protons plus neutrons. Also, you had to understand that isotopes are atoms of the same element with uh, same proton number or same mass uh, atomic number but different number of neutrons remember if you have isotopes isotopes have the same proton number for instance these are two isotopes these are isotopes because they have the same number of protons these that have eight are also isotopes but the mass number is different and what brings about the difference in mass number is the number of neutrons so in this case, the correct answer is supposed to be A because uh, this had uh, 8 neutrons, but this one has 6. So the correct answer here is A. Which type of radiation is high energy electrons? The fast moving electrons are better. Alpha is a helium nucleus and gamma are electromagnetic waves. You also are supposed to understand which type of radiation does it does it need when the mass number decreases by one. This is uh, actually neutron, right? 
if the mass number decreases uh, by uh, if the mass number decreases by two, that is alpha, and if uh, the mass number remains the same, and that is actually beta. But if it's uh, emitting gamma, uh, there is nothing that changes because that is uh, uh, just the, the nucleus is just linear. I believe you are getting value from this particular video. And if you are new to ProPlan, consider subscribing so that I'm going to upload the next part, you'll be notified. Moving to the next part, we are told that the nucleus of an isotope of uranium can be represented in. So, what you need to understand the number at this top is called the mass number. And the mass number we said is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Atomic number is usually written down here. With Two. and the number of the, the atomic number is equivalent to the number of protons but if you are asked how many electrons how many electrons what you need to understand is that protons is equal to the number of electrons so since we have 92 um if since we have 92 protons then it means we have also 92 electrons but if you are going to be asked in your exam may john let this time round, if they're going to ask you how many neutrons do we have, the number of neutrons is going to be 38 minus 92 is going to give you 146. All right, so that is quite important. Then now moving to the radioactive isotope, uh, which is uh, having the activity, radioactivity of um, 400 becquerel, if the half-life date, if they're going to ask you what's the half-life, what are you going to say? Just leave a comment down below. What's half life? Leave a comment in the description below. Remember, half life is the time taken for the activity of a radioactive substance to decrease by a half, or the time taken for the mass of a radioactive substance to decrease by a half. So, if we have half life eight hours, and we are asked to write what's the activity after 16 hours. We need to know how many half lives are in 16 hours. We shall take 16 divided by 8. We have two half lives. So, meaning this radioactive substance or radioactive isotope is going to decay two times. So, the first decay will give you 200. The second decay is going to give you 100. So, the correct answer is E. So Give the harmful effect of infrared waves. Uh, you need to understand uh, how affect people, how uh, microwaves affect the microwave cause internal heating of body tissues. Yes, X rays and gamma rays cause what? Cancer. Uh, but infrared they cause in burns. Now. What mattered most also during this exam is uh, um, sim to, get to, to understand similar properties between electromagnetic. So in this case, it's similar uh, similarities between visible light and infrared waves. Is both of them they operation, both of them they transfer energy, both of them they are transfers in nature, both of them they undergo reflection, refraction, and action both of them will continue the list is endless but we are supposed to give one eight two and then when you are asked to give difference between different electromagnetic waves you need to give difference based on the wavelength and frequency so we can say infrared waves have longer wavelength than visible light also infrared waves have lower frequency than light don't mention uses here uh, don't start comparing the and at this particular point, I believe as a prof learner, you have understood how we are going to approach that. The infrared uh, heating lamp are placed 1.5 meters, uh, and then we are supposed to calculate the time taken for infrared waves, uh, uh, waves emitted from the lamp to reach the car. Now, something you need to understand the infrared is an electromagnetic wave, so it's Travels at the speed of light. So we are supposed to see this for the distance over time. And if you rearrange the formula, this is what you are to obtain. And working it out, you will get five times power. 
quite fast, quite fast, right? Moving to this question, you are supposed to identify the main, uh, we are told that uh, this question is about the class, and in the main sequence, uh, star, the main sequence star is created in the collapsing. The table, the, the table gives for the gases in the collapsing gases. From when the nebula start to collapse to just before main sequence. So complete the table by picking or placing a tick. Show sure, how whether they go increase or decrease. For chemical, we're going to see increases, and then we're going to talk about nuclear energy. See this thermal uh, increase, but we are supposed to give the proper whether it becomes a red giant or super giant. Remember the initial mass of the nebula, if it was very, very massive, it that as a protostar, move to the main sequence, becomes a red giant, super red giant, it become red super giant, then it becomes a supernova which now explodes to become either neutron star or a coal. But if it was a uh, having less mass or a similar mass to the sun, that type of star will move from a protostar, main sequence, red giant, it goes down to become the white dwarf, and finally, a black dwarf. So mass is quite important in that case. Then we are supposed to discuss differences between red giants and white dwarfs. Remember, um, red giant, white dwarf, uh, and those are evolution of stars. So when you start move from a red giant to a white dwarf, it's almost going to die as a black dwarf. So it means that uh, the red giant has greater brightness because it's larger. Because a red giant is large, it's, it's more bright. It has greater brightness than a white dwarf. But um, we are also going to realize that uh, inside the red giant, there are some nuclear reactions. And those reactions are know helium and helium and um, which result to the formation of heavy metal when all the energy all the helium are used up the red giant then it collapses um a white dwarf so what you need to remember inside a white dwarf there is no reaction so that's one another difference red giant has lower surface because the red giant is so huge, then it cools down, so it has less surface temperature than a white dwarf. The white dwarf has planetary nebulae um, because as a white dwarf, as a, a star evolved from a red giant, it becomes a white dwarf, which becomes planetary nebula. So on the surface of a white dwarf, there are planetary nebulae, which are finally are generate more stars. We have come to the end of this part. Um, I will wish you the best of luck and as I'm going to upload the link, check in the description of this link that will take part. If you are new to Proflan YouTube channel, consider subscribing so I'm going to upload an tutorial.